Now, with our busy lifestyles and the growing number of screens and devices, mealtimes can be rushed and pretty chaotic. In Coffee Group today, we are talking about the lost art of simply eating as a family with Petra Bagus and Dave Atkinson from Parenting Place. Morning to you both. Morning. This is something that I really struggle with in my family. Um, let's start with you, Petra. Why is eating as a family so important? There's heaps of research and now about how you make better decisions if you eat together. You have a better positive mental outlook if you eat together, that you um, it's better for for you, you you know digest the food properly, but actually, I think that for us, and I had a heap of 11 and 12 year olds around yesterday, and they were like, I just wouldn't let kids eat in their rooms on devices. I would make them come to the table because there's something about coming to the table where you check in with each other, and checking in with each other is important. Mm. Like actually, how was your day? You know, how are you going? What's going on? And making the space to just be together yeah, is massive. Force, force them to engage you. Um, Dave, what, what are kids missing out on, do you think, when meals are so rushed? Well, I have to say, even though I work for the parenting place, um, sometimes I look at my own family and I think, how did, how did we get to this point? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, I've noticed actually, I'm, I'm a rushed person. I, I like to achieve a lot. And I've been saying to my three-year-old, you know, hurry, hurry, hurry. And I've noticed it's a pattern. And the other day, he, um, he said to me, why? Why do we have to hurry? And I honestly couldn't give him an answer. Dad, <laughs> Totally stumped me. I was like, because I want to get this done. Daddy said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, I understand, you know, li life is busy. And um, and those really simple things like being together and just talking about the day, it's so easy to put that aside and prioritise whatever else we've got on. Mm. But maybe we idealise that. We idealise that it's going to be this lovely time mm. and everybody's going to behave and stay seated. And tell us all about their day. Yeah, and yeah. so, you know, but it's this idea of creating a culture where you can hang and and tell each other. And this is it. Um, this little kid I talked to yesterday, she goes, you know, you can share how your day was, and if the day wasn't so good, you can share that too. This is like 11-year-olds yeah. going, actually, you know, I said, what's the worst thing about sitting down together? And they said, oh, it's the awkwardness or if you spill something or arguments about nothing. Yeah. But they said, but I guess you can work through it too, so it's still a good thing. Like, where do you <laughs> come together and say, actually, you know, this didn't work out. Or this, My three-year-old you know. spills a drink. I'm not every kidding. Single. Every meal. I'm like watching it going, how, how, how is it going to happen this time? And then he'll re- oh. Yeah, well, my 12-year-old does that, so that doesn't change. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, so the Parenting Place is launching a special event, isn't it? Um, tell me about that, Petra. So it's New Zealand's Whānau Dinner Night. So it's an idea this Saturday, the 3rd of November. You invite December. yourself. November. No, it's November, you're right. It is November, I'm sure. Sorry, you <laughs> you right. invite yourself to dinner. You invite your family to dinner. Because even though your kids are saying, oh, no, I'm busy, or I've got homework, or I've got this, or I've got sports, if you can kind of make an occasion that is chill, that is invitational, to sit down and eat together. And, and you know, it's just about doing life well, I think, and, and kindly. Parents are feeling guilty for lots of things. Yeah. So, hey, Saturday. Give have, yourself a break. Have dinner at your place. Put the devices down. Yeah, totally doable. And we always look for little, little practical, simple things to kind of affirm being together as, as family because it's really easy to overcomplicate parenting. And yeah. as an organisation, we don't want to sort of add to the noise and make any parent feel guilty. It's just going, just do something simple to affirm being together because that's what family's about. Yeah, take the small steps and do yeah. that because if you go and try and uh, find a book about things, there's, there's quite a lot totally. of advice out there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. So what are you hoping to achieve with this? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're hoping that we can um, we can encourage families to do something really, really simple. Um, what was really cool is that when we were putting together this campaign, we uh, saw that my food bag had already done some research on this. So the word's getting out, and so we actually gave them a call and said, hey, let's do this together. So they're promoting it through their, um, their customers, we're promoting it through what we're doing and through our partners, and we're hoping that, you Know, it's going to gain some traction. Yeah, and kids are saying they want it. Ninety-eight percent of kids say they'd like to sit down for dinner with yeah, their parents. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. And even if you can't manage it every night, at least manage no. it a few nights a week. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys, thank you so much. Cool. I need to do that tonight with my family. I think. Thank you for joining us on Coffee Group. Now, for more information on New Zealand's final dinner night, you can go to the Parenting Place website.